at the end of the day, she want to sit up and holler about telling about you a horrible mama, and she drag you up in court like that. Tell her she need to get up in the file. Mary, she already know what's up in the damn file. We know what's up in the file. It's the world that don't know what's in the file. We still been being blackmailed. Because it's like, why, with everybody that's asking me to move on, won't they ask what's in that file? Ask him to open that file. Ask him to open it. And if it's all good, why don't he open it to the public and say, this is what's happening right here. I was fair. Ricky was fair. Bobby was fair. The, clerk, the clerk's office, they were fair. Everybody was fair. So but, what's she talking about? But we know they weren't fair, Mary. That's why they've been trying to gag me and lie on me all these years with you because they had already made you look like you was crazy. Look how you jumped out there and, and I would have did and you didn't look crazy, but people assumed it that you was angry. Here we are in 2017 and you got to go through this with Steve. He can shut all this down. He just choose not to. Of course I'm angry. What am I supposed to do? Have a big gala, happy party about it? We're selling tickets to Mary's happy party down at the arena. Stop it. Why would you not be angry? Yeah, I know what it comes to your baby, I know. But you know what? I guess this fight too is something that probably me and you ain't ones to understand because I, I sat back and I realized and I listened to a lot. But you know, like nobody really believed your story. But until you have to see it for yourself, nobody would believe half the stuff that you've gone through unless they see it for yourself. This 2017, now it's time for us to vindicate you if we possibly can and clear my name at the same time. But, you know, no matter what, I guess we're we going to just stay on this journey and I see what path we're going to go on. Because, like, back in 2013, when they put you in jail for them, them 30 days, Mary, I was called in that jailhouse every day. I know it took them a week to get your medication. I just thought all that shit was, like, horrifying to me. They know you had to sit up there through Christmas and New Year's. And they got this dude and trying to make all these millions and doing them. Who is that? He is so arrogant. So arrogant. He don't let me out on his birthday. But you know they threw little darts and stuff. When them per people told me about it, they told me straight out their mouth. They say, girl, if you say anything about Mary, we're going to put her in prison for 28 years. I think they knew I was loyal enough not to do that. And plus, I was thinking about Winton. That I was scared, man. I didn't, after I seen how I put those videos out there, and then they snatched you up like that, they pretty much was trying to tell me they had any control uh, tr control of you. We got the judges paid off. We got the DAs paid off. We got the police paid off. Lockdown. Click. I mean, she was calling all around the moon, man. Bobby had much like a cotton picking Teflon Don or somebody, you know, pushing buttons. She ought to be ashamed of herself, but I guess she don't have no shame. I guess what she, what would she do if somebody was doing that to her daughter, her mother? I mean, just pushing buttons on me like I wasn't nobody just because she represents Steve. Maybe they had an affair. Well, I mean, if it ain't too far from the tree, it's hard. She told me he used to be back in the day. Working that hard. Are you working that hard to try to annihilate somebody? He work hard for his money. So hard for his money. If, if they weren't in a relationship, you were that desperate. You were that desperate for attention. I think, you know, I think you Steve. You want to be in his circle. You want to be in his circle. So you that desperate to do whatever you got to do. Send a, send a policeman over there to get somebody's child. You think Steve? Straight you think Steve? Right there, man. It's just bro, it's so wrong with her. You think Steve had an affair with Bobby Evans? I have no idea. Oh, uh, because I'm whatever, just saying. Whatever, look, whatever he did, it took. If he was swinging a car in front of her eyes. And <laughs> <laughs> I bought her a fur coat. Maybe he bought her a Benz or paid her house off. Oh, he probably did the same with Judge Tucker and Judge Ryan. Huh? Well, I know he did it for Ricky. I just think, like, like, how you going to do all this for these people and you didn't do it for your kid's mama? You let your kid's mama suffer and stay in jail all the time. And we sitting up here, Mary, looking back. I'm looking like, damn, just four years ago, here it is, going through all this. I got the nerve to be down there at, at my <coughs> property, the property that I found that belonged to me. Now, because he's trying to create this new image down there with this boys' camp, you know? I'm going to bring all the single mothers down here and cut all the little boys' hair and tell them how great they can be when they get older. I'm pretty sure maybe.
maybe maybe he did help some boys. Maybe a few boys came out of there with a different outlook on life. So I'm not gonna discount that. But you say he brought pretty mama, so he was trying to get with the mamas at the camp. But he's all all that good. You know, you trash out never mind Winton, you know, how how Winton was gonna grow up and how was he gonna turn out and you telling all these other boys how to be men and how to respect their mothers. All the while you dogging out your own son. You know, I, I still to this day, I ain't seen Winter with no new car. I don't see a plat. I don't see nothing like they did, like they do for that girl. I don't see them doing nothing for him like that. I don't know what the deal is with that, so I'm not in that circle, so. No, I just think, I just thought, like, if you got your kids, everybody was going to be treated the same. Because you could clearly see how Marjorie do her kids and stuff. But you know what? That ain't even here for me to hear me judge now. I just need God to do what he going to do with us. Because, you know, one day I, I, I'm here now trying to vindicate my name. You know what I'm saying? You here fighting in court. But we still been black real behind closed doors. Go figure. We are in court right now. I can't even tell the judge pretty much we being blackmailed because they sit up here going to threaten your life and stuff. That That's the stuff I don't get. And I think that's why I'm just like, like wow. One of, my, one of my lawyers told me, he said, Mary, he said, Mary, everything he got, half of it belongs to you because he took your money and reinvested it in himself. Yeah. So he was like, with that and all the interest, all the interest on that 10 plus million you were supposed to get, he said, all the interest on that over what, over 15, 16 year period? Mm -mm. You know, that's supposed to be yours, but he said, he's got too much money. He can fight all day with those lawyers. And but, he said, you don't, you don't have that. You cannot fight that. That's what they know. That's why they be wanting to just walk away and give up and don't say nothing. You know, but I have to take in you, Mary. You've been fighting all these years. You know, I didn't know we'd we'll be back here again. I would be your POA. But your strength is, like, phenomenal. And I know I would have probably kept on fighting for my kid. And I pray one day some kind of way, if it's not here, which I feel like we're doing a good job. But, like, blackmailing us and stuff, that's real stressful. But I pray that you be able to get vindicated and people know what, like, you know what I, I noticed? Like, here we are again, but, like, 2013, like, nobody even asked me, Essie, how did you extort something? They didn't care, Mary. How did you conspire something? You didn't extort nothing. You didn't extort nothing. But they didn't care either, Mary. They didn't care. No, but the point is... We're going to slap you with a label. Like, if you, if you open your mouth, we're going to slap her with the extortion label on her. Because they come like you crazy. She conspired with Mary. But seriously? And what did you extort out of him? A headache? Hell yeah, a big one. Girl, a big girl. I'm holding my big head right now, Mary. I can't even hold that bad boy. Hell yeah. A headache did something, girl. I was like, oh my God. Mary was telling the truth. These niggas, are, they like monsters. They like demons just paying people off. They like, shut up. 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 Like, like, shut up. They know somebody can be so evil, though. It's a miracle. I'm still alive to even talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. I used to say to myself, you know, you know, what am I going to get? Because when you're dealing with people with a lot of money, he was able to do what he did because a lot of people were covering him. So I said to myself, I said, wonder if I'm going to be the sacrifice, you know? If somebody going to take me out. Damn. Damn, why would you feel like that? Why not? You know, when you start talking, and you're talking about people that are powerful and have powerful positions, and they had to be to let him get away with that much. So yeah, I thought about it. When I was in, the, in jail, the nurse, the, the jail attendant, whatever, and said, Vaughn, Vaughn woke me up, and it was about 3.45 in the morning, and they said, it's time for you to get your shot. And I'm like, what shot? What you talking about? So she said, just follow me. That seemed like we 
long forever. You know, all those doors keep closing behind you, you know. And, and we were just walking. And then she said, just go down that hallway. Just keep going, keep going. And I looked around, and I mean, it was a deserted hallway. It wasn't nobody nowhere. And I walked into a room, and there was these two policemen in there, two male policemen. Tied this little thing around your, around my arm. Wait, wait a minute, now, wait a minute. 